for upcoming YouTubers, they want to know how to make thumbnails on Roblox. So I'm going to be showing y'all in this video. So um, yeah, subscribe. So basically the first thing that you're gonna want to do is actually go to this YouTube video right here And as you can see down here, it says media fire So you just want to click on this link and then after that it should download this thing right here It says roblox rig v4 and you just want to click on the big blue button after that The next thing that you want to do is you want to actually extract this file right here So as you can see right here I actually extracted the file and it actually says default and faceless So the thing that you want to click on is faceless as you can see it actually opens up blender So make sure you download download blender link is inside the description and it should be a naked character not in that way but the character shouldn't have any clothes on it or any accessories Now, the next thing that you want to do is actually go down to Roblox Studio, and then you want to get this plugin right here where it says load in character. I will also link this inside description. The character that I'm going to be using is my character right here, and basically what you want to do is spawn this in as a R6. The next thing that you want to do is left click your username, press export selection, and then this thing should pop up. I already made a folder for all of my files, so I suggest you do the same, but we're going to actually name this subscribe, and we're going to save that. Then after you do that, you want to go over to here. And and basically delete everything that's not an accessory so i'm talking the head the arm the torso basically everything i'm actually going to delete some of my avatar accessories that i don't need then after that you want to right click on your avatar again with everything deleted and then basically name this whatever you want i'm going to name this subscribe again then after that you want to come over here to burn there the next thing you want to do is actually click on the head go to this circle thing down here exit out of that click image texture and then press new press open go to blender and basically scroll down until you see your file currently i just found mine right here then after you do that go up to uv editing click and drag on this thing right here and basically scale this down to the smallest thing ever then after that find your skin tone then place it in the center of your skin tone so then once you go back to layout your face will not be seen and as you can see we actually have our shirt we have our head, but we just don't have our accessories. So then you want to go to import wave font obj legacy then click on subscribe again obj or whatever you named your stuff then import it and uh whenever you import it it should not look like this um let me go fix that okay so i just fixed it and basically what you want to do is actually align it with your avatar the next thing you want to do is actually pose your avatar so you want to click on this thing right here click pose which is already set to and i'm gonna actually pose it like this Okay, so I just finished my pose right here. And now for the next step is actually to click this right here. And uh, as you can see, it's all black. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of changes. If it's not black for you, that means that you didn't mess up something like me. But if it is black for you, click on new and it should go back to normal. Then after that, click on background and then basically change the lighting of the background right here. Now, as you can see, there is a white background which is looking kind of ugly. So then you wanna go over to this camera right here, click film and then click transparent and then it should look like this after you're done go in on click shift and a add a camera press the zero on your keyboard press view navigation and then you want to go to walk and basically try to get your whole entire avatar in the square box and then boom there you have it now press f12 and then you have your render then after that you want to go to image save as now hold up y'all are thinking that we're just gonna save it right now click on file format png and then click on rgba then we can name this subscribe for money and then press save don't x out of blender yet because we have to check to see if it's even inside of my files <laughs> To do this, 
we're gonna go click on a photoshop 1280 by 720 resolution 70 then press create i've imported my background then you want to go to your blender files and as you can see down here it says subscribe for money drag your file into photoshop and then resize it real quick i'm going to show you how to make this look like the cartoon style that i've been doing for the past couple thumbnails and to do this you want to click on subscribe for money click stroke make a black stroke set the pixels to 7 then click on stroke again then set the pixels to 10. after you're done that make an inner shadow opacity to 100 distance 8 size 0 and choke 100 and there you have it that is the cartoon tile now you might be wondering why is it so bland nobody's gonna click on that ugly thumbnail that doesn't have any saturation in it well we're gonna get to that in a second go to camera raw filter and basically this is all about your character since my character actually has brown skin color i kind of have to make my saturation higher than usual but if you have a lighter skin skin tone you don't want to put the saturation and vibrance up that much that's why i said it all depends on the avatar anyways go to vibrance and i'm basically gonna put it to my own custom settings you kind of have to feel it out for this one and make sure to go to contrast and exposure too because contrast and exposure actually makes the thumbnail and gfx better than what it actually usually is and boom, there you have it. Way more saturated. Then scour the internet for any clickbait face that you want. And then resize it to where it looks like it's really good. And as you can see, this is my character right here. Now to make my video a little bit more clickbaity, I'm actually going to put one of the best thumbnails that I made. Now real quick, I'm going to add my little kick to my thumbnail to make it look way better. <laughs> And a boom, this is actually going to be the thumbnail. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.